My name is Nick McIver. I am a maths teacher at St Marylebone Church of England Girls' School in central London. Morning. My average day starts at around 8 o'clock. I arrive at the school, I go to my departmental office, say hello to colleagues, make myself a cup of coffee, dump bags, most importantly, set up the books, resources, whiteboards, pens, compasses I need for the first two or three lessons of the day, and then head up to register my tutor group. Chloe, Dahlia. I got a 2-1 in maths from York University. I've been surprised how much of the higher level maths I draw on in lessons to 12 and 13 year olds. I sometimes will reference all kinds of obscure bits of mathematics. Sometimes I'm trying to give them a sense of, wow, is that right? So can I see you all throw the ball into the air? Can you throw it and catch it? Throw and catch and throw and catch. I want them to literally know their times tables backwards. So what I've been doing is teaching them to say them backwards while doing something completely different, this rather silly juggling routine. 24, 3, 2, 1, decides. It's a classic technique you use in the theatre to get authenticity into people's acting. You get them to think about someone else. I'm playing the same game. I'm trying to distract them from the thing they're learning so that the thing I want them to know becomes natural. We're going to go from 3 all the way up to 30. Ready? After I left university, I went to drama school and spent 10 years working as an actor and a writer in TV principally. And when I was about 30, I found that the fear of freelancing was starting to outweigh the fun. I wanted to settle down and have kids, and I finally decided to train to be a teacher because, ironically, the most successful TV I'd ever written was the stuff I'd done for BBC Schools and BBC Education. It's now break, the first two lessons are done, and I've got nothing next lesson, so I've got time for a cup of coffee. In between lessons, I try and take time to speak to people. I quite like talking to colleagues. It's one of the nicest things about teaching, is the people you work with, and most of my best ideas and a lot of the things that make the job worthwhile are in those snatched moments. 50.5 metres, how did you get that? There are two other people in this lesson, because this is part of a bit of professional development we're doing in the department. We've planned this lesson together, the three of us. I'm now teaching it. They're watching it to see if the plan I prepared matches what the kids learn. It's now lunchtime. I can have lunch in the staff room. And I can relax for 20 or 30 minutes. It's afternoon registration. To teach well, you need to be interested in the thing you're teaching, but that's not all. You need to be interested in the process of explaining this and conveying it to somebody else. Oh, that looks about right, doesn't it? A equals B, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And unlike in the university sector, you have to want to explain, in my case, maths to kids who don't know how great maths is. They do maths because they have to, four hours a week. My job is to tell them this is a fantastic opportunity. This is a year nine group, which is team taught. We're very fortunate at this school that we're so well staffed in the maths department, partly because we're a teaching school, so we have many trainees. I think maybe having it just handed to them on the way into the classroom. So you spend your life in the company of committed, passionate, highly educated, articulate people who care about what they're doing. That's actually a very, very nice working environment and far nicer than any other environment I've worked in, certainly in theatre or telly. Thank you very much indeed. It's the end of the day and it's been a pretty good day. I'm now going home for the weekend for pizza.